Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we had a little bite to eat with Sands before heading out of Snowden. And we unfortunately fell for a very obvious trap that wasn't obvious for me until literally the last second. And we had to run away from Undyne. Thankfully, we survived, but it was a close one. So in this episode, we're going to keep going forward with our 2-2 in tow because there's no way to take it off as far as I'm aware. And here's Sands. I guess we could equip a weaker equip item and then take the tutu off. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you could use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Sure. Very red. Is there literally anything to see right now? I guess not. Hmm. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. Pfft. It's an odd looking telescope. It sure is. Uh, I don't want to take off the tutu because it's good defense and stuff. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? You are if you believe- What the fruit? Oh, that's- Interesting. I like how I didn't notice it because it was on that eye and I went over here. That's stinking funny that I didn't see it until now. So don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. But yeah, it was like a stinking joke thing. That That's stinking funny. Uh, can I go in here now and wash it off, perhaps? Or am I stuck with this for the rest of the game? That would be something if I was stuck for it, with it for the rest of the game. Uh, if I go in here... Oh, it just disappears. Okay. Uh, another shop salesman. Another box. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. The ancient glyphs have been pa painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I'm sure there's an achievement for like turning off all the mushrooms in the game or something like that. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. I could buy things. Fortunately, I've thought, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you could trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Ice cream, it's that frozen treat that warms up your heart. Now just 25G. Uh, I just so happen to have three inventory spaces, so I could go ahead and buy them. Cards in the box, you got the ice cream. Uh, then again, that's going to take up another inventory space, so... Let's just get my three ice creams right now. Super, here you go. Cards in the box, you got ice cream. And finally, here we go. Two bugs in the box are playing a three card game. Take a card, take. You're carrying too much. Poopy, I'll be right back. All games must end one day. You got a punch card. The box contains two cards. Take a card, yes. You got a punch card and the box contains one card. Take the card, yes, take the card. And we go over here, give it to this guy. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice cream? It's free! What if I say no? Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream hidden in your depths of a watery cavern. Okay. I wanted to just read the info first. Punch card, battle item. Use to make punching attacks stronger in one battle. Use outside of battle to look, for, look, to look at the card. <laughs> uh... Please, please come back. Do they all say that? Yeah, they all say that. Uh, so it's actually a pretty good uh, battle item, but you could just exchange it for an ice cream if you want. Uh, so in that case, no. I'm just gonna get an extra ice cream, so I'll keep on to the punch cards and I'll rearrange my items a bit. I'll take that and then a punch card and leave one inventory space open. So I got some backup healing items, which is nice. But now that I think about it, I'm trying not to kill anyone, so why would I want the punch cards if I'm trying not to kill it? I guess that would be good if you're not going for the pacifist run, so for that reason, if I could get my stinking inventory to work, I will exchange these for a nice cream because I'm not trying to kill enemies. If I was doing a different run, then it would be actually useful, but for me, it's not. Three punch cards, trade it for an ice cream. Here, a free ice cream. You lost three cards and got an ice cream. 
now that that's finally taken care of, let's go over here. And wait, is there any pathway down here or was it a dead end? It was not a dead end. Oh, I don't want to get lost. I feel like this might accidentally be progress. Uh, let's not go here quite yet This because we got like different music and stuff. Let's go back up here and see what's over to the right. This is, yay, dead end, a duck. Can't talk to the duck. Okay. Head back down and continue on with progress, wherever this may lead me. So, hi, what are you guys doing today? Uh, you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? I'm not really sure what else to say, like, um, I'm interested to find out where this game is headed. Like, it got really singing funny, and then it got really singing dark. I'm still just, like, intrigued as to, like, where the click is. Like, I'm enjoying it, like, I've fallen into it, but there's still just a lot of weird stuff I don't entirely understand. Spare them both. Very quick battle. Uh, you go over here. Uh, dead end. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Oh, I can get full on ballet ensemble. Got the ballet shoes. Item ballet shoes. Ballet shoes. Weapon. At it's a weapon. You, uh, they're. These used shoes will make you feel incredibly dangerous. Uh, so I use kicking attacks like Sanji from One Piece? Sure. Put the ballet shoes. Uh, I think that's about it for the ballet ensemble. Turn off all the mushrooms. Just because I think it'll lead to something. But yeah, how are you guys doing today on this splendiferous evening or whatever this is going up? It's so weird that like, maybe this- I've been going back and forth as to whether or not this will be the Halloween LP. Or whether it'll be the Halloween LP or the last LP for Year 7. If it is the last LP for Year 7, you're not going to get this for a long sting time. I'm not falling for this. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know. Her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. No, it didn't work actually. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. But I still have the tutu on, right? Yeah, the tutu and ballet shoes, so... Should I change my clothes now? Is this... I don't think I know. Uh, Washua and Aaron are here. It's such weird names. Uh, let's go with Washua. Clean. Or ask him to clean us. Uh, isn't that like a reference to like Lloyd's are not Christmas when Ninten tries to wash Lloyd with a spit or something like that. Uh, what the fruit butts pie? Oh yeah, that's still a thing. Woo, I'm sweating. Uh, just get out of the way of all these things. Super slow. Or was that Papyrus telling us to, if we haven't gotten the 2-2 off yet, then we definitely should? What the fruit? Okay. So that's how that works. Now, I like how the uh, weapons actually do change up, so it makes combat and it makes offense and defense interestingly different and changes over time. Uh, just use one attack. No need for a swimming suit. Okay. Quit with the flexing. Oh, geez. Can we. No, not yet. And. Oh, no. Go through one more flexing attack. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and spare. I don't even know what I was talking about. So I was talking about whether this will be the Halloween LP or the last LP for year seven, just because it's like a good note to end on, or maybe it won't be a good note to end on because I'm not adoring this game like I thought I was going to. So. But is it really going to be all that spooky? Because I, I would only want this to be a Halloween LP because the skeletons. But the, are they really the main focus? I have no idea. I guess we'll just have to keep playing. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Uh, does the flower tell me that I hear a passing conversation? If so, that'd be kind of weird. Uh, nothing around here. Keep going up. Run to another enemy. I don't know why you guys are still here, but whatever. There's probably some secret behind the mold smalls. Uh, the power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Um. Hello, friend. 
Oh god, this could only end poorly. Undyne in 3, 2, 1. Kraken in 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's cute though. Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Omnisan. Oh, Neon San, you're here? I'm just gonna leave. Now you're creepy. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living here in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. You're really creepy. I thought you were cute at first, but now you're terrifying. And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so I, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear Undyne's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Okay, bye. Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Is Waterfall the name of the next town? Survey says... I'm in Waterfall! Hooray! No. What the fruit? Oh, okay, it was just a regular enemy. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. That's a very specific en enemy encounter. Uh, can't spare it yet. Uh, smile. You smile. You ask to see Shiren smile. Uh, Shiren gets quieter. In the corner. Aaron nods. Wait, there's an Aaron? Aaron nods his head approvingly. Uh, okay. I was wondering if he was gonna do anything. He's humming a little song. Uh, what if I hum back? Oh, hello! You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Sire, 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 me, 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 see me. Okay. Much more comfortable singing along, and we could spare you. And up here there is. The northern room hides a great treasure. What if it's a lie? Piano music is a great treasure. There's a piano here. Play it. I assume I'm not supposed to be here yet. Like I said, supposed to be. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Uh, I guess I'll be back here later. Uh, if you go over here... This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Hello. Boss? It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Hmm. Interesting. Umbrella! Take an umbrella? Yeah. You took an umbrella. Watch the sign say don't take umbrellas. Please take one. Okay, cool. Turn the umbrella? Uh, not yet. Let's go back and give the umbrella to the statue. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yes. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. I did it! Sorry for the lack of commentary, I just really want to make sure I didn't forget the melody. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What does the sign say? Ugh, I can't read it. Ugh. It's gonna be like, warning, don't take the legendary artifact. But of course I'm gonna take it anyway. You're carrying too many dogs. What? What? Where did I get these dogs? Tough 
Glo annoying dog? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. It's a legendary artifact. Wait, take it. Take it. You're carrying too many dogs. Okay. I've heard of the annoying dog. But does that mean like is this dog stuck with me for like the rest of the Oh god, I forgot about you. Go away. No, I don't care. Starring a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. All I've thought of is the name, and I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? Sure. Yay, me too. Please don't talk to me for the rest of the trip. Thank you. I just want to go back and find another stinking chest to see if I can put the dog away. This better be stinking worth it. Use the box, yes. Where did the dog go? I assume this is a rookie's mistake, but where the fruit did the dog go? Does it disappear after I leave that room? That really is an annoying dog. Stop talking to me! No! Good. No dog? Dog. But I have space in my inventory now. What the fruit, dog? You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. What the fruit even is this? The artifact is gone. What does the sign say? Move out of the stinking way. I don't understand, but whatever. Watch there be a sign right at the end of this that's like, don't use the dog. Okay, we read all that. I'm sure people are just laughing at me because like this is such obvious stuff that I should know by now or that everyone knows about. Like, don't use the dog here. Oh, the classic dog troll trick or whatever, but... Take an umbrella, sure. You took an umbrella. Probably gonna get in trouble for you using two of them now. Uh, here's this dude. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Sure. We got a traveling but You're not even sitting under the umbrella, dude. Just gonna keep going. I like the reflection that goes in the water. That looks really cool. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> Keep going down here. I like the water graphics, that looks cool. I feel like I've been praising water graphics like way too stinking much lately. So one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Any conversation that involves flowers has me on edge. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's just too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. And castle. Ooh, this looks really cool. Nice little ambient thing, I guess. Turn the umbrella? Sure. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Not really. Climb on my shoulders. I don't want to, though. Well, I'm up here. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Okay. We're still going. And a save point. I think this is a good point to end on. The humans, afraid of our power, de declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. 
Well, I got mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. I think something terrible- wait, what? What did it say? The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. I feel like something very terrible is going to be happening soon, so we're going to end it off here. Next time on Undertale, we're going to continue our way through these caves, supposedly in search of Undyne. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.